Can you guys hear that soundtrack? Can you guys hear that soundtrack? Do you know what that means? It's time for another drama video. And this is a fun drama. This is gonna be a fun drama regarding myself and <laughs> basically upset Mushoku Tensei Glazers and how much they're seething and being mad because my ReZero content continues to be like pushed out to them. So let, let, let's, let's break out this. Let, let's break down this whole system. So what am I doing? You know me egomaniac narcissist i'm like ego searching myself you know huh start to type my name what are people saying about me let's see glaze glaze oh yes auto save talking about other people they're talking about me glaze glaze this is the guy i'm gonna talk about glaze 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 oh my ego continues to be boosted more and more but i found one monkey I found a monkey! And right over here. This guy's Twitter handle actually seems very familiar. So I actually clicked onto this. And I'm like, why would he mention me? And it stems from this tweet, actually. This tweet. And you know me. 244 impressions, six likes. You know how petty I am. I have nothing better to do but profit off of children online that are talking shit. So let's break down what's happening. Why is he so mad? Why is this guy so mad right now? Let's see. Um, Lati, CR Mushoku Tensei Volume 16. Okay, first of all, this is a Mushoku Tensei lover. And ReZero. Perfect. I love Mushoku Tensei and ReZero as well. His profile picture. Serious, I think. And cult members. Amazing. I love both shows. But why is he so upset? Get that Asian ReZero fan off my YouTube. Why did you have to say that? That's kind of weird, right? Like, of all the different things that you could have said about me, you could have said, that motherfucker only wears the same white t-shirt, that motherfucker is a discount fucking Tokyo Ghoul main character, bro thinks he is Gojo Satoru. Listen, you could have picked apart anything, but you immediately call out my race, which is pretty weird, and it's even funnier because these same people that are always subtly trying to be racist, they love Asian content. They love to consume goods created by Asian people, but let's let's break it down, right? Let's break it down. His stinky ass messing up my timeline. This is all you have to do. I understand that you are a retard on Twitter, so there must mean that you have brain damage, but this is what you can do, right? This is what you can do. If you see my video on the homepage, instead of having like a therapy session online, and be saying like, oh, my trauma with Kaka TV. All you have to do is this. Do this. Don't recommend channel. And then you will never be recommending my content again. And you can move on enjoying your life. But people, mentally ill, children online, they need to feel that their feelings are affirmed by others. They have therapy sessions online because I pissed them off. And let's think about why I pissed them off. Uh, we're going to ignore this comment for now. We're going to focus on this guy. And he immediately responds, Kaka TV. I live rent free in their heads. This pussy was too much of a coward to mention my name in the tweet. Instead, just calls me that Asian ReZero fan. Again, it's kind of weird that of all the things you would pick apart my race. But then this guy says me. And I'm like, why do I live rent free in this guy's head? Can you guys guess what this guy's favorite anime is? I remember this guy. I love Mushoku Tensei. <laughs> a picture of Rudy as Grey Rat. You're, you're, are you picking up what I'm fitting down? Do you know what happened? A while back, this is Glaze. This. This, this, this. this. So let's, let's uh, listen to this tweet. So the context of this guy. So about August 22nd, right? This is about a month and a bit ago. There is a tweet made from Ham saying, there's a YouTuber named Kaka TV. And he literally low-key self-reporting that you like Rudius and justify his behaviors. That's kind of sus, right? I got your attention. Why do you relate to Rudius? Me, I relate to his drive to keep moving forward and love for family. There's nothing wrong about that. Rudius loves his family. He moves forward. Quite often, he encounters these situations where he's reminded from his past life. And then... Sometimes 
he learned from those actions, right? And the mistakes and he moved forward. And there is actual growth, I believe. Some people like to say that Mushoku Tensei is not a redemption story because he did nothing wrong or the fact that he does not grow. And there are some themes that keeps getting kind of like, um, I guess, like overlooked regarding his creepy tendencies and the world just kind of like suiting his needs. But I do believe that he has growth. You and I are not wrong here. But here's a part. It's so easy to have a 24 second clip out of context from an entire fucking playlist of 247 videos of ReZero. And this is the video right over here. ReZero Cringe versus Mushoku Tensei Neckbeard. And in this video, basically, I'm going out to crucify every single retard that are genuinely not understanding what I'm trying to say. And the whole point of this is actual casual pedophiles. Just watch the video. Like, you can just watch the video and you'll see that only eight people dislike, but 174 people liked it. And a lot of people agree with my take because what I said here is factually correct. There's a lot of weird motherfuckers that sees Mushoku Tensei being so popular. And then they try to justify their weird pedo tendencies by using this movement. And this is the whole video I'm calling them out. But it's so easy to clip me out of context for 20 seconds, 24 second clip. Let's hear it. Let's listen to this clip, actually. Entertainment. All right, first monkey to get crucified. <laughs> Unwelcome school is already playing in the background there. All right, first monkey to get crucified. Entertainment. All right, first monkey to get crucified. Yeah. It's not this guy, but Mr. Tyre Willis 9841 says, I find Rudy more relatable. <laughs> Bet glad you could self-report. Now drop your address as well so we can call the cops. Low-key true, bro. I mean... You yeah. literally low-key just self-reporting that you like Rudeus and you just yes. his behavior like yes. that's kind of sus, right? No, straight up. Like this is the out of context clip. Like this person has no fucking idea what they're talking about. They found a convenient clip to fit their narrative when they have no idea what the topic is. I did never mention that because you like Rudy that you're a pedo. No, there are motherfuckers. Go watch the video. Literally watch the video and read the comments. And that's why most motherfuckers in here are in total agreement with me. Not just ReZero Glazers, but Mushoku Tensei Glazers too. I love both shows, but you are a tourist that got clip that literally baited me with a single fucking clip because you wanted to farm your fucking 30 likes online to have a therapy session. You have no context of the greater thing. And now see how people can just misinform you. See how people can just take something out of context, fit their own narrative. Suddenly, if you like Rudy, you're just a pedo. I never said that. This video in specific is calling out those motherfuckers that were directly being pedo-like. Watch the video, you'll understand. But because this person is such a retard, and because they get baited on one thing, because they love Mushoku Tensei so much, and their blindness, their wrath cannot, like, their wrath is overriding their logical thinking. This is what happens. And a bunch of other dudes are literally having arguments. Like, like you are a bunch of idiots that are going off of one misconception, one clip out of context without even linking the whole fucking video. How crazy is that, right? And this is the guy. This dude is just the Mushoku Tensei Glazer that is getting clip baited, right? That got clip baited, sorry, and continues to hate. And I'm like, listen, it, it, it really doesn't matter, right? It, it really doesn't matter what happens at the end of the day. These are fucking nobodies online that are just mentally ill, that have nothing better to do, that are having therapy sessions, right? Because my content continues to get recommended to them. Just fucking ignore and move on. And then let's see some other thing. And or right, right over here, the dude can be reasonable, but almost everything about him screams bum. Just tell me, right? When you cannot criticize the content or the talking points, you know what people do? They clip you out of context and they try to misinform. And then once they realize that I am literally logically foolproof, they result into personal insults, right? This happens a lot. And then the best part, look at this shit. Another person will then respond off of this. My bullshit senses are tingling. Something happened. It's also very funny that this is a monkey gif right now. Just hate how he is one of those I hate Rudius but in love with Super's character type of ReZero fan. That's fucking crazy. I don't actively hate Rudius. I said in these videos, I relate to Subaru way more. Literally watch these fucking videos. Literally watch the fucking videos. Why I enjoy Subaru more than Rudy. 
Does it say that I hate Rudy? No, it says that I can relate more to Subaru and that if you actually relate to these pedophilic instances when Rudy is just getting away with this shit, then I call you a fucking loser. But it's so easy to just clip me out of context and just continue dogpiling and dragging my name, but I'm not getting dragged, all right? It, it's, it's, it's random fucking accounts with 67 impressions. What I'm just upset about is how there's like no logic to be had. Ah, low key, I don't consider him much as fans. And like you, you're so stupid. You didn't even do your due diligence. See how people just continuously spread misinformation. They don't do their research. They immediately get baited by monkey takes and then goes off of it. Thank you, psychiatrist. Some people just love to hate and it's easier to hate out of context clips than I do not see your entire point on something. Absolutely correct. These people don't really care about being correct. They just want to have their random tweets go viral because they have nothing to do better with their lives. People who are terminally online who do this shit genuinely don't have fulfilling relationships in their real lives. They have no fulfilling friendships. They're isolated. They're depressed. They go onto Twitter. They make superficial parasocial bonds with other people. And there's nothing wrong with parasocial bonds. But this is basically that. The result of lonely, isolated, depressed children who also have the intellect of a fucking monkey that continues to spread misinformation. And the best part, you know what the best part is? You are doing this, volunteering your free time to do this shit. You're wasting the limited time you have in your life that could have been, you know, worked towards your dreams and you do this shit. And you know what the best part is? I then come out of nowhere and dunk on your dumbass and make money off of you. I am literally profiting off of you wasting time. Look at this shit. Just look at the graph. Lifetime graph. I have reached another critical point in my analytics. Three months has passed by after getting the flood lift, flood, uh, the floodgates lifted, and I am about to transcend into the seventh iteration of my content. The views go up, the money goes up, and if we're having random children cry on Twitter, this is also a positive signal. This is an amazing signal because that means I am doing something right. Ah, uh, low-key, unfortunate to hear the reaction seem fake. But here's the thing! You, you, you're so stupid! You are, are getting baited off one thing, just literally? How many people are glazing? They are licking my asshole, going out of my way to just say Razer was great. I don't have to say, my content is great. The product will simply be recognized by the market if the value is good. And people will literally do advertisement for me. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. And the reason that your dumbass gets recommended my videos is because it's performing so well that it's resonating with the ReZero community. I don't know, it's odd to me because I'm a fan of both, so these wars seem dumb to me. Who is creating the war? No one is creating the war. You are dumb retards that's actively doing the same shit. You are doing this. You are the one creating unnecessary divide between the communities without completely understanding the topic at hand, getting clip baited. Never made sense to me either. Just dumb people fighting with other dumb people and start fire every day. Isn't this crazy? Like, I feel like I am literally in a psych ward right now. They are so close. It's right beneath them. Something smells, but they don't realize it's them. If wherever you go, it smells like dog shit, maybe it's not the other people. Maybe you should look at your feet and there's dog shit in it. And it makes both sides look worse. Genuinely, it makes your retards look worse. I just accepted that this will happen. I just look after my guys, that's all. Can't imagine fighting over media to an extent where everyone looks bad. This is the craziest thing, bro. <laughs> people trying to start drama after clipping me out of context that then goes and say i cannot believe these people are just spreading hate and spreading drama it's 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 unreal it's it's actually so unreal but this is the best part this is the part where you know i love i love shit like this bro in my old jobs right in my retail facing jobs you have these fucking retards show up at the cashier you have to hang out you have to like you know be nice to them right there's gonna be stupid people that's gonna be you know so rude but i can't do anything because i'm gonna get fired but now that I've built up my platform of content creation after holding down a day job for three years, I am now paid to dunk on children. These kids, these lonely, depressed, isolated children will have therapy sessions online and I get to make fun of them and then I get to make even more money. 
I am literally at the pinnacle of the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. I am literally in the best shape of my life. All my needs are met. I'm making the most money I've ever made before. My relationships with my girlfriend and my families are better than ever. My entire brand, every day I got to work towards something that continues to reward me for the amount of passion and work I put in. And now I am literally reaching self-enlightenment. I truly am just peaking every single day and I thank you. I thank you monkeys for giving me content to farm. I hope to see you in the next video.